Yes. <laughs> and um, this is another one. I, I keep on, you know, there's all these references to the biggest this or that since then, or the, you know, the biggest land battle since the Second World War. And I just keep on thinking about Yugoslavia, which involved a lot of land battles, but. I also think about other things like, for example, if you go way to the west in Europe, you'll find Europe's first colony. You could say it started long ago. Keep one lifetime in your sights. People were marching for basic civil rights. The marchers were attacked, the press made wild claims. Anything that happened, Republicans were blamed. The boom that was incited, quite intentionally, all over the six counties in the loyalist community, was an atmosphere of hatred, kind of burns and kills. If you live in the wrong place or stand too close to the windowsill, in the pogroms of 1969. With torches, pikes, and guns, neighborhoods were attacked, supported by police, if anyone dared fight back. Fight back people did, kept the loyalist mobs at bay, Far more homes would have been destroyed if not for the IRA. Defensive lines were formed as best as could be done. Fifty buses hijacked and lit up in the summer sun. Surrounding the burned down cells of the houses of Ardoin. While just beyond them, Orangemen sang the Battle of the Boyne. In the pogroms of 1969. Thousands fled the carnage. Hundreds of homes burned down. There was a refugee camp in Dundalk as big as any town. The British Army invaded the north and started building walls, separating ghettos from the bog side to the falls. If you want to understand the world you live in, you have to peel back the layers and look beneath the skin. If you do that, you may find so much of these troubles begin half a century after the black and tans in the pogroms of 1969. You could say it started long ago. Keep one lifetime in your sights. People were marching for basic civil rights. Thank you.